The first point that Bill Nye makes is that denial of evolution is unique to the United States. I'm sure he knows better than that. After all, not only is evolution criticized widely in the United States by at least 40% of its citizens, but evolution is believed to be false in the Muslim world. Creationism is certainly uh, taught in South Africa, India, South Korea, Brazil. Uh, smaller factions of creationists probably are found in Japan, Israel, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. Bill Nye implies in his video that parents and other adults are doing a great disservice to children by teaching them about biblical creation. Well, you might be interested to know that I also teach my young daughter about evolution, and I know many other Christian parents who do the same. Children should be exposed to both ideas concerning our past. Being a good scientist and a mom, I want my daughter to be educated about evolution so that she can see the inherent problems with it. For example, the complete lack of a genetic mechanism that allows organisms to gain genetic information to go from simple to complex over time. Bill Nye also makes the comment that the world becomes fantastically complicated uh, if one believes in creation. I would argue the world becomes fantastically complicated if one believes in evolution. You see, in evolution, you have to look at that hummingbird feeding at your feeder and assume that all of its parts have somehow come together by random purposeless change combined with natural selection, which is nothing more than differential reproduction. We need to understand in the video that Bill Nye is confusing observational science with historical science. Observational science is what I call here and now science. It gives us inventions and technology like computers and vaccines. We can observe it, test it, and repeat it. Historical science deals with the past, and both evolution and creation fall into that category. We cannot test, observe, or repeat them. Yes, we do see fossils and distant stars, but their history of how they got here really depends on our worldview. Do we start with man's ideas about the past, who wasn't here during the supposed billions of years of Earth history, or do we start with the Bible, the written revelation of the eyewitness account of the eternal God who created it all? Rather than being inconsistent, as Bill Nye states, uh, observational science confirms the literal history and Genesis. The second point that Bill makes in his video is that evolution is fundamental uh, to all life science, that life science can't be practiced uh, without it. This is certainly not the case. The evolutionist Adam Wilkins, publishing in Bioessays, volume 22, uh, number 12, says as follows, while the great majority of biologists would probably agree with Theodosius Dobzhansky that nothing in biology makes sense without evolution, yet he said most can conduct their work quite happily without particular reference to evolutionary ideas. He concluded that evolution would appear to be an indispensable and unifying idea, and at the same time, a highly superfluous one. 